Hello there and welcome back to Yosemite Valley one last time. Now, I said in the last video it's going to be the last time, but then I didn't know that Frontier is going to trick me again with some additions to the game that I just simply couldn't leave out in Yosemite Valley because we got actual proper redwoods. And what shall I say? I, I, I really have the feeling Frontier is using Yosemite at this point. Like... Okay, there were a couple of things in the past which were already pretty interesting. Um, they were way too fitting for the project, such as the meerkat and stuff, exactly fitting into the habitats, like without any changes, which literally was impossible. I got a couple of hints from Frontier that, you know, they like to look at f files from players and stuff. But now things get very, cur very, very curious over here and very suspicious. The Redwoods are not only exactly the same height they are exactly the same width and they have the greenery and stuff and the, the, the leaves and stuff at the same height and just the same kind of feel and when i did these fake redwoods back in the day um remember i did a little research and i actually made them so they were according to the sizes of planet zoo so i did measure them to the actual trees in game and made them kind of you know some i think it was like uh, one by two or something like half the size it would actually be in real life and I, I, th I forgot how I measured that exactly but I tried to make it go in line with the Planet Zoo um, art style and Planet Zoo size and now they brought these in the game and they are granted they are a carbon copy of mine that could either mean I did a stellar job back then in making these fake ones or they just did it and just kind of adjusted them to my sizes because they were already in line with the game Either way, they are amazing and they save me a million uh, pieces already. Not, like, legit, not a million, but they save me about 40,000 pieces. That is ridiculous. So I obviously needed to change them. And I've exchanged them now all. Um, I left two OG trees in there just for the sake of having these OG ones in, but the rest were exchanged. And then I thought, you know, that's not enough for making a proper episode. And I went on and um, changed the beaver habitat a little bit because I, there were a couple of things I didn't like about this anyways. Um, I, I didn't think that I would touch it yet again because we have changed this already three times and I think that's now a good spot like a good point to end but in fact the skunk uh, does have enrichment um, uh, multi-species or interspecies enrichment with the beaver so I was like why not put them into one habitat then right um, I made it a bit more floral a bit more lush in here just to give it a bit more space and a bit more nice area for the skunk I changed a couple things towards the hillside as you will see in a couple of seconds uh, gave them uh, some of the little burrows so they can also hide away and just give this area even more of a natural feel as if this is part of the environment of Yosemite again. Um, so granted, it was a pretty straightforward build, uh, nothing in particular, but I still wanted to share it with you uh, because today there is a no franchise episode. I will not have a franchise episode ready this week. I will have hopefully another episode of uh, the brand new project, the successor of Yosemite, the brand new Zoo Sicily. In fact, if you haven't seen the first episode, what are you doing? You should do that. If you're into these kind of projects and you are a big fan of Yosemite, well, you're actually watching, so you shouldn't be. Uh, you should. <laughs> oh God, you should be. Um, then this is for you. Uh, Zoo Sicily is going to be the follow-up of oh, this wonderful project over here. I'm very happy to share this with you. Um, also, um, deleting these trees, in fact, gave me two FPS back in uh, play mode, which doesn't seem much. But it is around 15% more FPS, if you if you will. So um, it just made an impact, you know. It, it made an impact, but it's really... I would need to delete even more. I'm still trying to come up with a solution to make the tour. I, I don't have a solution quite yet. I have a couple of ideas, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to do it. So one of the ideas... Maybe you guys can comment on it. Why not? We're just going to do this. So there are two ideas I have. The first idea is going to be, obviously, making a tour of a mixture of uh, play mode and pause mode. So for the most part, being in pause mode uh, to go through the zoo and then just trying to find a steady point in which we can leave it running. So yes, it is definitely going to be choppy, but then it's not too annoying if I'm not moving around too much. That would be one solution. 
The other solution is a little bit more tricky um, because I want to have people in there and I can't do it live, but the idea would be to record a full tour myself in Cheat Engine, so speeding it halfway down and then re-speeding it later on in Adobe Premiere, making it uh, obviously two times the FPS. Now, the only issue I have with that is that I couldn't include sound, which does break the immersion quite a bit like I could I could record the sound and then readjust the sound later on that is potentially a solution um, but then I could only go to 2x like two times sped up later on better would be to do it three times because then three times would make it actually 40 fps ish which would be super enjoyable however and that's my biggest caveat about this doing it three times will definitely get rid of the sound because if I play in three times slowed down from 14 fps uh, the sound is not aligned anymore whatsoever so yeah I'm really not entirely sure what I should do uh, I also tried my best to um, improve the performance for a little while by overclocking my CPU um, it's not worth the effort um, because it doesn't really improve anything and it just overheats my computer drastically for a given amount of time and I'm not sure if I want to risk it I mean if it would give me like proper six seven FPS more well that would be fine but it doesn't even give me one solid FPS more so yeah, there's no real point in doing that, is there? So I I just go with one of the ideas I just mentioned. Not entirely sure which one. So going back here, um, I'm going to show you real quick. I'm, I'm, I found this viewing gallery over here not being connected properly. And so I decided to make a couple of little stones. These are from the new DLC. Some very good stones, just bringing them in. And then I figured to just close off a couple little things with some foliage, giving a couple of... Uh, education things, a vista point here and there, just these little things I haven't done uh, too much in this project quite yet. It's ridiculous how big it is. And then I found this backstage area over here not be, being really fitting. And so I decided to use a little bit of uh, vending machines. We don't have that many vending machines in this park because obviously the biggest part of this park has been built when vending machine weren't in the game so yeah it's by the way that's a, that's just a very interesting topic to kind of very quickly tackle this topic i just recently noticed how funny it is if you have these kind of big projects uh, like yosemite not only that they that they develop over time in terms of the skill that you have in a certain uh, theme or certain area or certain whatever also, the areas are quite funny to look at because they always resemble what the game has been like at this point. And then sometimes you have areas where things have been exchanged later on, but you still can clearly see that the intention was different at the beginning and you can still see the remainders of that area, uh, how it has been before. So that's kind of funny to see um, how things develop over time. So obviously the newest areas uh, have so many things that the game brought in later on um, and feel super organic while the same things do not feel organic in other areas of the park because back in the day we couldn't use these things not even in our minds because they weren't existing um, and we didn't know that they would come anyhow we are already at the final screenshots over here again i can't give you cinematics it would be super choppy but at some point you are definitely gonna get a cinematic tour of yosemite which then will be recorded with the beautiful uh cheat engine making it super nice fps for you but this is something of the future now i really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode i really do hope you like the fact that we brought the skunk and the red ones in and yeah just have a wonderful day today i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to check out zoo Sicily if you haven't already the card will be to your top right now and if you feel super generous today you can even become a sub if you haven't already now yeah, have a good time stay safe everyone i talk to you in the next one that's it and goodbye